Vitamins are organic compounds that your body needs in certain amounts to be able to function well. Talking about your metabolism, physiological function, growth, immunity, and your overall health. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the various types of vitamins, why they are essential, and the dangers of their deficiencies. everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're here for the first time hi my name is busari Meliayo. i am a nigerian registered nurse and registered midwife i am also a registered nurse of the united kingdom on this channel i talk about nursing and healthcare and if you're interested in content like that do click on the subscribe button to join the youtube family and also on the bell icon so you don't miss out when i drop another amazing video with that being said, let's talk about vitamins. So, I already talked about what vitamins are in the introductory section of the video. So, let's talk about the two major types of vitamins that we have. We have the fat-soluble vitamins and the water-soluble vitamins. From the word fat-soluble vitamins, it means that these type of vitamins can dissolve in fat. And they are the types of vitamins that your body can store in the fatty tissues as well as the liver. A very simple way to remember these vitamins is the word ADEC. It means that the fat soluble vitamins are vitamin A, D, E, and K. ADEC. So now let's talk about each of these fat soluble vitamins. Vitamin A, also known as retinol, is important for vision, immune function, skin health, and reproduction. Deficiency of vitamin A can lead to night blindness, dry skin, impaired immune function, and reproductive issues. Vitamin D is very important for the formation of bones, as well as immune function, and crucial for calcium assumption. Deficiency in vitamin D is known to cause rickets in children, osteomalacia in adults, as well as increased risks of fracture and weakened immune system. Vitamin E, also known as tocopherol, please pardon my pronunciation, is important because it acts as an antioxidant, it protects the cell membrane, supports immune function, and helps in DNA repair. Although this is rare, the deficiency of vitamin E can cause things like nerve damage, muscle weakness, and impaired immune function. Vitamin K, which is the last of the fat-soluble vitamins, helps in blood clotting, bone metabolism, and vascular health. Deficiency of vitamin K is known to cause increased risks of bleeding and impaired bone materialization. Water-soluble vitamins, just from their name, they dissolve in water. And unlike the fat-soluble vitamins, they are not really stored in large amounts in your bodies. The two major types of vitamins that are classified as water-soluble vitamins are vitamin B and vitamin C. So BC broadcast. That is a very good way to remember them. Now let's talk about these two major types of vitamins under water-soluble vitamins. Now there are different types of vitamin B and they are numbered. So let's talk about them and their various importance. So starting with vitamin B1, which is also known as thiamine, it is important for energy metabolism, especially in carbohydrate metabolism. And it also plays a role in nerve function. Deficiency of vitamin B1 can cause a condition known as beriberi, please pardon my presentation, which is a condition characterized by weakness, fatigue, nerve damage, and cardiovascular problem. Vitamin B, known as riboflavin, is important for energy metabolism, red blood cell production, and maintenance of mucous membrane. Deficiency of vitamin B2 can cause sore throat, redness, and swelling of the lining of the mouth. It can also cause the inflammation of the tongue. Vitamin B3, known as niacin, is important for energy metabolism, DNA repair, and cell signaling. Deficiency of vitamin B3 can lead to pellagra, which is characterized by dermatitis, diarrhea, dementia, and potentially death if it is not treated. Vitamin B5, which is known as panthothenic acid, is essential for energy metabolism, and it is involved in the synthesis of fatty acid 
and the citric acid cycle deficiency of vitamin b5 is rare but it may cause fatigue headache irritability and git problems vitamin b6 known as pyridoxine or pyridoxine plays a role in amino acid metabolism neurotransmitter synthesis and hemoglobin synthesis Deficiency can lead to anemia, neurological symptoms such as neuropathy and seizure. Vitamin B7, known as biotin, functions essentially for fatty acid synthesis and amino acid metabolism. Deficiency is rare, but it may cause dermatitis, hair loss, conjunctivitis, and neurological symptoms. Vitamin B9, known as folate or folic acid, is essential for DNA synthesis cell division, and red blood cell formation. Vitamin B9 is very essential in pregnancy. Vitamin B9 is one of the medications that are given to pregnant women during their antenatal season. And that is because deficiency of vitamin B9 has been shown to cause megaloblastic anemia, neural, neural tube defects in children, and increased risk of cardiovascular diseases. Finally, we have vitamin B12, which is known as cobalamin, which is also essential for DNA synthesis, red blood cell formation, and neurological functions. Deficiency of vitamin B12 can cause megaloblastic anemia as well, as well as neurological symptoms and fatigue. So those are the different types of vitamin B that we have, as well as why they are important and what their deficiency my cause now let's talk about vitamin c which is known as ascorbic acid which is very popular because it is gotten from citrus fruits vitamin c is important because it acts as an antioxidant and supports immune function deficiency of vitamin c causes scurvy which is characterized by flat fatigue bleeding gums joint pain and impaired wound healing so guys there we have it that is a very simple explanation of the various types of vitamins if you want to see more of my videos click this playlist and i'll see you in the next one bye